This is Tim McMahon. I spent two years researching and writing Healthy Tongue Secrets because I wanted to share my success in treating geographic tongue with others. In my previous messages, I told you about a couple of cases where minor changes resulted in major improvements in the condition of the tongue. In John's case, it took about a month, and in Leona's case, it was only a couple of weeks before she saw noticeable improvement. And in a few cases, I have seen improvements even quicker than that. One case was so quick, even I had a hard time believing it. Many people have wondered how a tongue can repair itself so quickly. So today, rather than showing you another case study, if you don't mind, I'd like to explain a bit about tongues in general. This may sound strange, but believe it or not, your tongue is a little bit like a starfish. I'm sure you know that a starfish can replace its limbs if one gets broken off. But what you may not know is that just like a starfish, your tongue actually renews its surface every 7 to 10 days. If you think about it for a minute, it makes sense. Your skin replaces itself, and so does the surface of your tongue. Your tongue actually gets more wear and tear than your skin does. Just think about eating pineapple, or drinking hot coffee, or many other things that are rough on your tongue. That's why your tongue is second in your body in its ability to repair itself. Do you know the only thing that repairs itself more quickly than your tongue? I'll give you three guesses. One, your heart. Two, your brain. Or three, your eyes. The answer is three, your eyes. They are so critical that they need to be able to repair themselves very quickly. Of course, if you poke one of your eyes out, it won't grow back. But if you scratch it or do minor damage, it will repair itself very quickly. And your tongue can repair itself very quickly as well. So if your tongue can replace its surface in only 7 to 10 days, why do some tongues look so bad? Good question. I'm glad you asked that. Now, this is just my opinion, but here's what I think. Based on my experience, given the proper building blocks, your tongue does rebuild itself quite well. But when there is a shortage of supplies, your body gives priority to more critical applications like your heart and brain and eyes. And so your tongue begins to suffer. Even a tongue with geographic tongue is replacing itself. Think about it for a moment. What causes the bald patches to move around on your tongue? As the taste buds or papillae fall off, they aren't being replaced fast enough, but eventually they do grow back. But by then they've already fallen off somewhere else, so the patch looks like it has moved. So the problem isn't that they aren't being replaced, it's just that they aren't being replaced fast enough. So all you need to do is figure out how to get them to replace themselves faster. Sounds simple, but just how do we do that? The key is to build up your reserves so that your body has the building blocks necessary to repair itself quickly and easily. Once it has the proper building blocks, it will take care of itself and in relatively short order too. So the condition of your tongue is actually just a symptom of the real underlying problem, which is your nutritional reserves. Find the missing nutrient and fix it, and your tongue will fix itself during the normal repair process. That may seem like a bold claim, but that is exactly what I have found to be true. As we saw with John, geographic tongue is often nutritionally based. So today's secret is, your tongue does repair itself just like a starfish. But 
It is just a symptom, not the real problem. Of course, we cover this more in the book, but to find the real problem, you need to look to your overall health, nutritional intake, and absorption. And once you have that straight, your tongue will actually take care of itself in the normal regrowth process. The trick, of course, is tracking down your particular weak spot so that you can improve your overall health. In the Healthy Tongue Secrets eBook, I've included a variety of triggers and a list of deficiency symptoms to help you find the one that is your weakest link, plus a doctor-recommended nutritional program to help treat your tongue problem. Once again, I hope you found this tip helpful. This has been Tim McMahon, author of Healthy Tongue Secrets. Thanks for listening. I hope you found it helpful, and I look forward to seeing you next time. If you'd like to get your own copy of the Healthy Tongue Secrets ebook, just go to healthytonguesecrets.com slash geographic dash tongue. See you next time. Bye.